Hello everyone and welcome back to Mail. It's been a while and we know that and we're we're sorry. Things have been really really crazy around here but now we have a uh, agenda, a vendetta. We are going to finish up all of this mail and uh, do it before the next mail video mail. format thing comes out. Monthly yeah. mail. Basically we're gonna get all these mail videos out before Monthly mail. July 15th. Because, Monthly mail. Yes, because that's when that happens. Let's get started. First letter. It's from Toledo. Toledo. Oh. Why? No. Toledo. That's a, that's a thing. Ohio. Ohio. God, that was the next one. That was seriously right there. It was about to come out. You may not believe me, but I'm being serious. All right. Um, this is <laughs> this is dated April 6th, so we're a little behind. Dear Mel and Stephen, it's us, Sagan and Kepler. <laughs> While you were at PAX, we learned how to use the computer in Microsoft Word. Don't ask how we did it. We did, but we'll never tell. Meow. <laughs> they feel the need to write meow. We love your mail videos that you do and just wanted to send a letter of our own. Kep and I want to be in them and we try telling you, so that's why we always meow from time to time. Know what we mean? Anyways, we just wanted to send a heart-filled letter to thank you for taking care of us all the time. And... Then it says, it's me, Kepler, in a different font. So, I wanted to use paw prints borders for this letter, but Mr. Billy Gates hates cats. I figured hearts would be just as good. Don't worry, I'm taking great care of Sagan. His litter box is starting to smell real bad, but hey, we're cats. We just hope that you two enjoy your time in Boston. Secretly, we're New York Yankees fans. We hope karma doesn't come back to haunt you and mess up your flights back home. That'd be bad, because we're running out of food. Well, Sagan spontaneously fell asleep, so I'll just end the letter here. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we? With much love from your furry friends. Kepler and Sagan. It was, it was creative. Mm -hmm. Boys, why didn't you tell me you could use the computer? And write proper English. And also, yeah, and also have incredible spelling and correct grammar. And you guys are, you guys are artistically gifted. Look at that. It looks so pretty. It's a heart-filled letter. It is, literally, filled with hearts. I'm sure Sagan did most of this because the, the font that Kepler chose was terrible. Anyway, <laughs> Sagan and Kepler, thank you so much. We're going to move on to the next letter, which is from... Kenneth in Orangeburg. Kenneth in Orangeburg. And then it, on the front, it says, oh, look, you got a blue rupee. And hi, post office people. Do you like cheese? Because I like cheese. Regardless whether or not 1962 is a long time ago, suddenly I really want Taco Bell. No, really. I love it when people write messages to the post office people. You guys should do that. If you're going to send mail... Our poor post office people. I mean, write something. Because it's funny because we have like this, a super, super small post office. And there's only like two people that work in and there. They're and they're very nice. They're very nice. They're and wonderful they people. Me. And they know Mal. But I think it's hilarious when there's stuff written on, on the outside to them. Dear Stephen and Mal, Hi, I'm Pandy Mint McJagger and I am a recovering alcoholic. Okay, not really. My name is Kenny, but my YouTube is Pandy Mint McJagger. Anyway, I am 19 years old and live in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I first found you through links my friend sent me of your vlog, but I didn't watch them, them immediately. Eventually, I started the journey and became hooked. I haven't completed it because I got distracted when I finally started watching Game of Thrones, but I have been busy catching up with Stephen Mail, which got me to write this letter. Uh, as for your LPs, I've jumped around but did watch all of Shadow of the Colossus, which is good because that's my favorite one. I'd like to thank you for the wonderful content. You have given me uh, the full motivation to start LPing and maybe a little vlogging. I won't be able to upload much for now, but anxiously await the day I can. I even have fraps in Sony Vegas so I can familiarize myself with the process. My first LP will be an English version of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Hopefully I will get started later this year at the earliest. And then on the bottom it says, uh, continue on back, y'all. Maybe I'll uh, write you another letter when I finally start uploading. Anyway, I don't have any questions to ask, so on to what I sent. These are all things I did over the last year. Uh, they are Naota Nandaba and Mamimi Sam Samajima from Furikuri, uh, or FLCO, uh, one of my favorite animes. Masami Kida, these are really hard words for me, from uh, Dorarara. Uh, Suku or Asuka Leonelli Soru from Neon Genesis Evangelion, and uh, which is my Evangelion. favorite name. Evangelion. What? Evangelion. Is that how you pronounce it? Really? Yeah. Because my entire life I've known of this, but I've always pronounced it Evangelion. 
which is a much cooler sounding name in my opinion. Um, Riku and Ventus fighting Vanitas from uh, Kingdom Hearts and the Toyota Corolla Sprinter Trueno AE86 from Initial D because cars are my passion. Unfortunately, I do not uh, remember what the Japanese says, uh, though I'm certain the one underneath the car says uh, Hachi Roku or 86. Out of curiosity, how is my handwriting in your eyes? I've heard good and bad from various people. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'd give it like a 7, where 5 is legible and 10 is like I have absolutely no problems. I'd say I'd give you like a 7, maybe bordering on an 8, because there was a few words in there where I was like, I can't quite tell, but then I, in context, I got it. I wouldn't, it's, it's weird when people ask that because no one ever asks that. But since you asked, I'll tell you honestly. Uh, if you read this, you and Mal should do a high five of epicness. Well, how are we going to differentiate a regular high five from an epic well, high five? Well, this is regular. Regular. And ready? Yeah. It's not epic, but it's mean. Signed, Ken uh, Peppermint Campbell, also known as uh, Pandy Mint, aka Pandy Mint McJagger. Uh, AKA Pandy Mint Mixcag. That's quite a letter. Um, anyway, Ken, thank you very much. We also have two signed cards. One is a Caribou, and it says Death to America. Caribou. Caribou. I'm going to have to be corrected on, on everything. Uh, Caribou. Is that what you said? Caribou. Caribou, yeah. Did I say that the first? <laughs> I don't know. It says Death to America. It's a reference to the Jigglypuff card from long, long ago. You can tell Ken has been on the journey. And then we have a signed card uh, that is a Dark Magician. And I don't, I actually don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but this is like, like a popular card or something. Like, have you heard of Dark Magician? Like, yes. that's a thing. Yes. I just don't know what it is. I mean, obviously it's this, but I don't know what it does. And, now, the yeah. Furry Curry is one of my, probably my favorite anime as well, so. And this is Momumi. Samajima. What does, she, what does she call Nauta? Or does she call him Nauta? It's the other one that calls... Takoon? Yeah, Takoon. Takoon! That's what she does. It's, it's been very, very, very long time yeah, since I've Yeah, it's been a long that. time since I've seen it, but I remember that. This character from an anime that I, I already forget because there are so many and they are very hard to pronounce. This character, this hard to pronounce character name from hard to pronounce anime. This was from Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, you can tell because it's uh, the the Keyblade, because they have like Keyblades in the game. And then this is, is this also Kingdom Hearts? I don't remember. I cannot tell. You listed all of, of what they were, but out of order, they're just really hard names that I can't remember. And then Initial D, because I know what Initial D is. It's with the cars. Um, anyway, Ken, thank you very much for the letter. And we're going to move on to the next letter, which is from... Rachel in New Zealand. New Zealand! As Rachel! Rachel put her stuff on the back, her return address, so it makes me wonder if that's something they do in New Zealand. That might be a New Zealand thing. I like New Zealand. It's, uh, it's a very pretty place. It is very pretty. Dear Mal, Sagan Kepler, oh, and Steven too. My name is Rachel, also known as Wasprig on the internets, and I'm from Masterton, New Zealand. I'm rather new to your channels, and I'm currently watching your Minecraft LP, and I have to admit, you've got me interested. I'm also uh, watching your Twilight Princess LP, which has been brilliant so far. I'm looking forward to seeing you tackle the Lake Bed Temple and Arbiter's Grounds. And it's funny because that was actually a while ago, but we're just now getting to the mail. But that much. Yeah it, yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, I'm also preparing to embark on the journey soon. Speaking of vlogs, a couple friends and I were looking to start a vlog and I was uh, wondering if you had any suggestions for cheap or uh, preferably free video editing programs. Um, all I've got at the moment is Windows Movie Maker and a whole bunch of mistakes in this letter. Um, Windows Movie Maker isn't as bad as you think. Also, for free, it's probably the best you're gonna do. Um, so I would stick with Windows Movie Maker and make it work for you. Because there's this big stigma right now that, you know, Movie Maker's terrible, but it's actually not. All you really need to do is put clips together, and Movie Maker will help you do that. Um, also, I'm writing this a few days before Easter, and even though it'll be long gone by the time this reaches you, I hope you both have, uh, slash had, a great Easter. 
I'm kind of starting to ramble a bit, aren't I? This letter probably makes no sense. Whoops. Anywho, uh, I'm sure you're sick of hearing this by now, but I did indeed discover you through the chug of vlog. However, I didn't really start watching until I saw day 1101. I don't know why that intrigued me so much. It could be because I was interested in the topic, or maybe just because 1101 are the last four digits of my phone number. But either way, I've been watching the vlogs ever since then. Mal, I must say you have a real talent for cooking. I saw your How to Make an Awesome Pizza video and your pizza looked so good I wanted to eat it, which is saying a lot because I don't even like pizza. Yes, Steven, it's possible for someone to dislike pizza. Rachel. Rachel. What a sad life. You must live not eating pizza. Uh, sorry for the, this mess of a leather that probably sounds uh, like all my thoughts are thrown to the wall to see what sticks. Uh, now I have a few parting words. Nitwit, blubbery oddment, tweak, ikrim duna, and destiny burgers. P.S. I'd be really surprised if you'd if you've gotten a letter from New Zealand before, so I'll see if I can chuck some souvenirs in here for you. P.P.S. Sagan Kep, I drew you some pictures too. Well, Rachel, thank you very much for the uh, very nice letter, and we have a picture of it's a drawing of uh, Sagan and Kepler hanging from the ceiling and they're in a rocket and it says Astrona Cats Away and it's the cutest <laughs> thing ever. And then we also have um, the little guys so from um, Wind Waker, right? Yeah, the little, the little tree spirits. The little tree spirits with the face masks. I'll, I'll try and show you guys. I know it's 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 pencil and it's hard to read, but up here is the Astrona Cats thing. And I love it. Kiwi birds. I love it. And also there's Kiwi birds. Sorry, I'm <laughs> mostly I'm, o I'm mostly in love with the Astrona Cats. Can you imagine that like a comic, like series, Astrona Cats Away? Astrona Cats would be fantastic. It'd you be know, fantastic. almost as good as Samurai Pizza Cats. Almost as good? Almost. Better. No. Better. Here, this uh, is Rachel, awesome Rachel also sends a bookmark of a little sheep, and it's actually it's a really nice bookmark. It's um, embroidered, embroidered, and it says, Clean air, blue skies, green fields, and millions of sheep. New Zealand. Have we gotten mail from New Zealand before? I don't know. I want to say that we probably have, but it's it's been a long time if we if we have. Wasn't the movie Black Sheep from New Zealand? I think so. Yeah. Not the Chris Farley Black Sheep, but the one we really enjoyed. The horror comedy movie where yeah. like the sheep eat everyone alive. It was a ridiculous film. Um, anyway, Rachel, thank you very much for the wonderful leather, uh, the drawing, and the uh, um, thing that goes the in the books. <laughs> the thing you shove in a book. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next letter, which is from... I believe it's from the UK. Okay, but there's no return there's address no or return. name. It's the mystery letter. It's in a brown envelope. Uh, this letter says, Dear Stephen Amal, my name is Luke, and I am from the UK. I am also a big fan of your vlogs and let's plays, which both capitalized. Uh, I think you two are very funny and entertaining people, and also I got some questions for you. Number one, what is your favorite Pokemon or your least favorite Pokemon? Venusaur is my favorite. My least favorite is probably Mr. Mime. Really? Just because he's... Scary looking? I could probably agree with that. Just be, He's a humanoid Pokemon. Yeah. It's it's almost... Him and Jenks I find very weird. Yeah. it's They really don't feel like they, they fit all that well. Uh, number two, what is your favorite game? I like Earthbound. Mother 3. That's Earthbound sequel. Uh, number three, what is your favorite vlog? That's hard. That's hard. Don't ask me that. Wait, do you have a favorite vlog? I don't know. It's, it's one of those weird questions that, like, there's been a lot of memories that I've had over the years that I'm really glad I caught on camera, and I don't know if I can pinpoint it to just one thing. It's also a really cop-out answer to be like, oh, my wedding or my or, or my engagement, but, I mean, those stand out to me you know, better than other days just because they were on film. So maybe one of those. Also day 80, 82 is the um, uh, the day where I explain all the stuff is oh. good. And 49, which is I Am Dan, which is a fantastic day. Um, that is all I wanted to say. Thank you for listening and good luck with your videos. P.S. You should do a Let's Play of Pokemon Coliseum from Luke. Well, actually, Luke, we just picked up a copy of Pokemon Coliseum less than a week ago when we were in Florida, so mm -hmm. it's a possibility. It could happen. Um, I mean, Emil actually just did a Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play, and we helped design his... Logo. 
Well, his logo, but also this, you did the. Yeah. I did. I actually designed his stat boxes. I don't know if we ever revealed that or talked about that any at any point, but the the things that come up that show all the stats for the Pokemon, we actually made those. Yep. Anyway, uh, Luke, thank you very much for the letter. We're going to move on to the last letter of the day, which is a package envelope thing from Tristan in New Jersey. Dear Stephen Amal, this is my very first letter to someone. My name is Tristan and I live in Rahway, New Jersey. The first LP I watched by you was Minecraft. I saw your channel from a uh, link from Chugga Conroy's page. The LPs I've watched so far have been Gears of War, Sonic Generations, Minecraft, Halo, and Amnesia. I'm currently watching your Twilight Princess LP and Skyrim. So far I've seen the first 40 episodes of uh, Skyrim. Twilight Princess was something I had been hoping for for a long time. I've been watching your vlogs but I have yet to subscribe. Uh, I don't know why, but I will after I'm done with this letter uh, and see the journey from the beginning. I've sent you my old copy of my Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue. This is a wonderful game uh, to start the series with. The game has brought me good memories from when I was eight and I still enjoy it today. I've also sent you a uh, fan art of you and Mallory as net battlers with your own uh, gnolls? Gnolls which I guess is some kind of Mega Man thing. Uh, I based Steven's Null on Argyle. At first I was going uh, to base your Nulls on your kitties, but I only did that with Mouse because I know she likes cats and butlers are cool, so why not combine them both? Uh, I wish to hear your opinions on it because I still think I could have done better. In this final sentence, I wish you luck on all of your endeavors. Love and peace! which is giant, and that's from Trigun. And it says, uh, P.S. If any YouTubers don't get that reference, then they are missing some classic anime shows. And P.S.S., please play Battle Network, because it is a really great game. Well, Tristan, first of all, thank you very much for the letter. Um, Tristan also has fan art here of uh, Nulls, which I'm assuming is a Mega Man Battle Network thing. And then I've got in front of me my Argyle-esque one, and Mal's in front of her is Literally a cat butler, so he wasn't joking. It's it's a cat in a butler outfit, and then it just says argyleman.exe and Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Kittens. Mr. Kittens. Steven calls our cats that sometimes. I do, I don't know why. And then of course we have the game, which actually doesn't have a label on it. The mystery game. Except we know what it is, and we'll, we'll have to put a, a thing on it and actually write so we don't forget and get it mixed up. Um, Tristan, thank you so much uh, for the leather, the art, and also uh, the game. And that's it. That is our triumphant return to mail. There are actually a lot more mail videos. I think there are... I think there are seven? I think there are seven more or eight more. I'm not, a, I'm not entirely sure because when it gets near the bottom, we're just kind of like, uh, there's a few. Seven um, or eight. Yeah, you're right. So the goal is to release, you know, vlog mail, vlog mail until the mail is all cut up. And uh, once these last seven or eight are done, then there will only be one mail video a month, and it will be heavily edited down so more people will be able to enjoy a larger amount of mail. I'm excited about it, partially because it we won't be behind on mail like, like we are, because you know these letters are from April, and that's sad. So we're gonna prevent that from happening, darn it. Thanks for watching, see you guys tomorrow for more mail.